So one of the greatest things about being a doctor is you have fantastic stories to tell. I'd like to tell a story about um, a veteran who came to my office. Uh, Cody was a sergeant. He was in command of three tanks in Iraq, and he was uh, such an outstanding Marine that they sent him to officer's training school uh, and then to pilot school. Unfortunately, uh, there was a trauma and he developed post-traumatic stress and a year into his training was unable to continue and they put him out on um, temporary uh, disability because he had depression and anxiety from a death in the family. And after about a year of being on disability, he asked to be um, removed from his service and just go home. Luckily for him, uh, his commanding officer happened to know about the work I do uh, with um, Marines and veterans with uh, post-traumatic stress and he was actually sent up to New Jersey from Florida where he was treated twice a week um, for two weeks. And what we did was we used clinical nutrition to rebuild his fight or flight mechanism and a hands-on technique called neuroemotional technique to desensitize him to his trauma. We didn't deny the fact that he went through a trauma and that it was horrible, but what we did was we desensitized it to him so that he could move on. The exciting thing was is that after two weeks, he went back down to Florida and requested to stay in the Marine Corps. He passed his physical and his psych exam, was given a new uh, job order, and finished out his career. That's a win for all of us. It's a win for me as a physician because obviously it's a, it's a great story. It's a win for Cody because he's no longer suffering with PTSD. It's a win for his family. And it's a win for the United States because now we have a strong active Marine that didn't have to leave the force.